Hello, my name is Jason Miller with Alex Now Solutions. Uh, this YouTube channel is dedicated to unlocking the power of ServiceNow, and we try to respond to some of the more um, CIO level questions that are posted on the community. So anything regarding uh, SLAs, uh, performance analytics, reporting, things of that nature. Um, we try to provide scriptless solutions so that way it can help just the everyday user um, in their pursuit to go ahead and optimize the performance of their ServiceNow platform. Today we're going to look at a post uh, from December 5th by Ashley Brannon. She asks, I've been working on SLAs for the request item level in our instance. I have an SLA starting and pausing when needed. The problem I have is that I want to have the SLA end when a task and in parentheses it says, this task will always be one that is open for the requested item has been assigned. I've tried business rules, UI actions, client scripts, <clears throat> and none have helped with populating data from the task up to the requested item. I also can't pull the task assigned to using the selections on the SLA definition. I just want to see if anyone has any experience with this. So Ashley, what I'm going to try to do is show you uh, one of the ways that uh, you could resolve this issue. So uh, I set up the SLA. Um, so again, the problem is that uh, the one to have the SLA end when a task, um, and this would be a catalog task, has been assigned. So I'm taking that to mean the assign to. So I'm going to go through the SLA definition, which I've created. And in my instance is Kingston, but this shouldn't matter. I've done this all the way down to uh, Helsinki. So um, let's see here. I made one called paper and supplies task. And what you'll notice is the table here that I used was the catalog task. So the way I set this up was with the start condition was this parent. So a lot of people, they... Um, when they create an SLA, and I'll, I'll bring up a new condition here, um, what you want to do is you want to scroll all the way down. And you see this show related fields? That's the first thing you want to hit when you want to dot walk. And remember, dot walking usually, um, I would say, is most successful when you're dot walking up, meaning that the task, uh, SC task table, is a subordinate of the rhythm. Um, so that's really where you want to start and walk upwards. So I'll do this show related fields. Um, and that'll bring up a whole bunch of other um, opportunities here. So whenever you see this arrow here, that's what you're dot walking to. So let's take a look at the, the start condition here. I have parent dot requested item dot item is paper and supplies and active equals true. So basically what I'm saying is when the parent of a catalog task is paper and supplies, meaning that item is opened, um, it will fire off the... Um, the SLA. Then um, you already had your pause conditions worked out, so I did not put any pause conditions in. And the cancel conditions that I put in was basically when can't uh, when to cancel is cancel conditions are met, but I didn't indicate any um, just because that wasn't part of your your issue. So for our stop condition, um, I put in assigned to is my name, Jason Miller. Um, and remember that'll go off of this form here. So when someone goes into this SC task. Um, and puts my name into the assigned to, it'll be completed. So I've already set up this rhythm right here. Um, so I ordered it off the service catalog, and then uh, these two tasks automatically opened up. And then when I did the assigned to, it was marked completed at the bottom. So I have my task SLAs tab on the catalog task form, and then it was marked completed. So what I'll do now is I'll just run through another one, um, just so that way you can have the benefit of watching this in action. So we'll go to a, a new window here, and we'll go to the catalog. And my apologies for not having this open thus far. So I'll click on service catalog, and I'm just going to type in paper and supplies. You should, should come right up. Yep, there we go. And really, um, it's going to be irrelevant which item we use here, as long as you have the correct one filled in in your SLA conditions. So I'm just going to put in uh, three of these and two of these. Click Order Now. And great. It's been submitted. Now what we'll see here is this is our rhythm form. And what one thing we have to remember is that there isn't going to be a task SLA on this form here for the rhythm. 
if we want to see um, it, uh, where that task SLA is, we have to go to the software or the field services task or whatever the name of your task is. So I'm just going to hit command here. See, sorry, I'm using Apple. So command click to open these up. And one thing we'll notice here is that we have a task SLA running. And we'll notice it's our paper and supplies task. And hopefully we have one here also. And the reason why we have it running on both tasks is because I never specified um, the name of the, um, the task. So that's one thing that you might want to do is put in, you know, the, the actual short description or something like that. Unless you have one task. If you have one task, um, you're pretty much golden on this. So now I'm going to fill in my name and we'll notice that you know, our stage is in progress. Now when I put in Jason Miller, now I'm going to save this. And great, now we'll, now we'll see that it's completed. So, and if we wanted to see this um, from more of a, like a reporting level, I did another segment on SLA reporting on the YouTube channel on Alex Now. Um, so one thing you could do is just go to task underscore SLA dot lists. And when we do that, you'll be able to see all the SLAs that are fired here. So I find that this mechanism right here, um, you know, th this is the most reliable for seeing this stuff fire. Also, you should you should use this whenever you create new SLA definitions or promote them from like your development to your test to prod and all that. Um, <clears throat> it'll help you see what you know the SLA is being fired here um, from like the fifty thousand foot level. So again, my name is Jason Miller. Um, Alex Now Solutions is the YouTube channel where I post this stuff. I'm also active on the community. Um, I really appreciate it if you could subscribe. I need 100 subscribers to give my uh, channel here, my beloved channel, um, a nice suffix here. So um, as I like to say, we've unlocked the power of service now, and I really appreciate uh, your attention. Thank you. Have a great day.